Wow, it is crazy that I had not done a mukbang in quite some time. Hey, it's Peter, and welcome to a mukbang Monday. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I know I had been gone for quite a while, and you know, honestly, the reason why I wanted to start back Mukbang Mondays was specifically not only because I wanted to start up the series back up again, but also because my friend Jesse. So shout out to Jesse for inspiring me to just bring this back. I'm so excited. So hopefully I can continue this. This is the first one of hopefully many. For those who don't know me, I am Peter. I am a vegan content creator. I specifically really post on Instagram and TikTok, but I wanted to bring back YouTube because I feel like I've been missing YouTube for quite some time and I've always been a fan of YouTube. So here I am, welcome to my channel. And without further ado, I'm pretty sure you guys are like, Peter, just get into the food, let's just eat. If you guys want, grab some food for yourself, eat with me, let's eat together, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, let's have a meal together. Today, if you guys can tell by the title, I am gonna be eating Filipino food from this place called Big Boy. Also, it is in honor of Filipino American Heritage Month for the month of October, and if you guys didn't know, I am Filipino, so kumusta everybody, and welcome to my channel. We got a spoon, we have a fork, I also have some calamansi juice. If you guys can see calamansi, let's just dig in. Alrighty, so if you take a look at the food, we have some rice, we have some veggies, and we also have some pancit. And the main star of this video is the vegan langonisa. Chef Barb created this, and I have honestly eaten this multiple, multiple times a month, maybe even multiple times a week, and I just freaking love it. There's the vegan langonisa, which is actually made from impossible meat, so. If you don't know what langonisa is, it is basically a sweet sausage. And usually um, in Filipino culture, uh, we would eat it uh, during breakfast. But honestly, you could just eat this any time of the day. Ooh. So of course you have to have the rice and the langonisa in one bite. Cheers. Let's go. Mmm. Oh yeah, that just hit the spot. Oh my gosh, incredible. <sighs> yes. Mm. Literally bomb. So bomb right there. Also the pancit. Oh, yes. So I know I have been off of YouTube for quite some time. I haven't specifically been off of YouTube. I more so still watch YouTube videos on a regular basis. And, but I just haven't posted. So I'm so happy to be back. Bringing you guys some Mukbang Mondays. And hopefully I can bring back some old guests that I used to have on my show, on my little YouTube show here on Hey It's Peter. Now with that being said, uh, a lot of things have happened since the last time. If I recall, I don't remember the exact last YouTube video I made, but it might have been a vlog, maybe. Or was it a mukbang? Who knows? Oh, yes. This is literally what I needed. I believe whenever I stopped making YouTube videos, I was still vegan, and I am still vegan to this day. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, follow me there because I do post a lot more regularly. Cheers to Kalamansi. Mm. I, I don't think a lot has changed per se because uh, my job is still working with Patrick full time. So if you guys didn't know or if you're new to my channel, uh, I work with my, my brother, my older brother Patrick, otherwise known as Patrick Star, who is a makeup mogul and also the founder of One Size Beauty. And I manage the business side of things in the back end, as well as um, I help with creating and shooting content as well. So I still do that. Actually, we used to live in an apartment before, but now Patrick Paul, my little brother and I, we all moved to a house together. So this is a new journey and we literally just moved like maybe a month and a half ago. So that's new. I've also been trying to get my health journey. Mm. So trying to go to the gym regularly, if I'm in LA and we're not traveling, then typically 
three to four times a week. If it's five or six, then that's a good week, I guess. <laughs> and something that I have come to love is Soul Cycle. It is a cycling class that goes with music and it's just incredibly fun. And I do that on a weekly basis, uh, once or twice a week. And that way I can get my cardio in. And those are just a couple of things that have happened um, since the last time I saw you. Mm. Let's talk about Big Boy. So Big Boy is owned by Chef Barb. She actually started off with her uh, company, B Suite. And then I think I actually made a holo holo video. Ever since then, Chef Barb has honestly been the sweetest, most kind person that you know we've met here in Los Angeles. And she is literally a tita that, you know, just loves us and we love her. And then a couple doors down, they started Big Boy, which is a full-blown uh, Filipino establishment where they also serve Filipino food, such as this. I'm so thankful that she has vegan options. <laughs> Shout out to more restaurants having more plant-based vegan options because, you know, I think it's just it's just amazing. And within the past couple of years, a lot more establishments and also like there's a lot more products that are vegan, plant-based. And you know, a couple of years ago, it wasn't it wasn't like that. So, it's honestly really incredible. I don't know if I talked about it before, but I am Filipino. Something that I remember about my childhood is actually growing up and uh, performing in the Filipino dance troupe. We did that for such a long time, which is like really cool to like think about because, you know, growing up, we learned the tene cling, we learned the banco, we learned the coconut dance, we also learned the um, a Spanish dance, and those were like incredible, incredible days where you know, just growing up, every single year we would uh, perform the tene cling or any sort of uh, Filipino traditional dance at like a Filipino Independence Day or a small like little festival. Um, in Florida. Whenever I went to go order this food, it's funny because I literally was recording at the same time because I'm gonna be coming out with a vlog later this week. What's funny to me is that I I wanted to order the vegan um, longanisa, but also I wanted to order the vegan impossible lumpia. So unfortunately, I guess I wasn't paying attention and then I literally ordered a, a plate with the rice panse and then the longanisa and then I ordered another side of the vegan longanisa. So it's just funny to me that like, you know, I was just tapping away on this because you have to order on like this tablet or you can also order like in person as well. But I was ordering on the tablet and then I was just pressing little buttons and then I just checked out, you know, so fast. So it's just, <laughs> so today I would have had lumpia, but instead we just have a lot of longanisa. Also, I wanted to shout out this uh, catering company. This one is Masarap underscore Lumpia. They, a couple of months ago, oh, was it a couple of months ago? I feel like it, it's been a minute, but they reached out and then they sent me some, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, ube, ube cookies? Oh no, ube brown, no, ube brownies. But it's been a minute, but I wanted to shout them out because it is, they're also Filipino owned. And they sent me this sweater, which I freaking love because um, tonight we're gonna go be seeing an OG Filipino YouTuber, AJ Raphael. So I'm so stoked for that. And then I wanted to wear this, you know, in honor of uh, Filipino American Heritage Month. And what is cool is that on the back, if you guys can see, uh, it says Lumpia is life. I don't know if it's focusing, but it literally says Lumpia is life, Lumpia is life, Lumpia is life. So shout out to Masarap, Masarap. Lumpia. Also, um, if you guys would like, because I shared that I'm Filipino, I would like to know more about you. So comment down below where you guys are from, what your background is, and um, uh, what your favorite type of cuisine is from your culture. And also, I feel like I feel like because this is like a full Filipino video, I do want to shout out Sweet Simple Vegan because she has a blog where she shares veganized Filipino food. I have yet to recreate these recipes, but that is my goal by the end of this year, hopefully, um, to recreate the recipes. Uh, but if you guys follow her, Jasmine, shout out to you. You are holding it down for the vegan Filipinos. And, you know, I am just so inspired 
by all of your food content and whatever you whenever you share something it's so incredible and also more incredible that you do share veganized items of filipino food so if you guys are curious or if you guys are vegan plant-based or whatnot and are filipino like me and want to recreate old vegan or uh, old filipino recipes but you are vegan then um, i highly recommend you guys checking out sweet simple vegan at sweet simple vegan yeah let's go filipinos i also think it's so cute the logo of big boys right here and it's the details for me salamat that is so cute oh chef bob you are incredible one more bite and then i'm gonna save this for about one tomorrow mm. scrumptious now you guys thought i was done i ain't done no 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 i'm not done cuz hollow hollow oh my gosh i think the last time when because i did you know i made a video specifically on the hollow hollow uh which was my very first like um video uh from be sweet <laughs> but now they have a dairy-free vegan hollow hollow option so here it is check it out okay <laughs> now tell me why it wouldn't be a video without it literally wouldn't be a, a video without my camera battery dying on my first mukbang back. It's, it's crazy because all of the batteries that I have are completely dead. But VC now has a vegan halo halo option, which is incredible. If you guys have yet to come to Los Angeles, I highly recommend you guys coming to Sawtell and visiting B Sweet big boy and all the other Asian restaurants that are located on Sawtell in West Los Angeles. But yes, I am stoked. Let's go. So as you guys can see, there is a dairy-free vegan ube ice cream. We have, of course, the shaved ice. And honestly, I don't know what else, but let's just go in. Oh, mm. Mm. yum, yum in my tum tum. <laughs> and if you guys know me, I freaking love sweets. We're just gonna mix it because Halo Halo is mix mix. Okay, let's go. Halo 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 Halo. Wow, just, just wow. Cheers. Mm, literally perfect, perfection. Mm. What's awesome is that they provide you with a spoon that is long so it can go all the way in. Alrighty, uh, I think I'm gonna eat this one off camera because it is just so delectable and I don't want you guys sitting here uh, while I bask in this gloriness right here of the halo halo. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this Mukbang Monday. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you guys are new, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, below comment down below uh, what I should eat in my next Mukbang Monday. I am so, 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 so happy that uh, I made a video. So I'm proud of myself. I'm really proud of myself for bringing back Mukbang Mondays. Yeah, let me know what I should eat in my next video. Shout out to Big Boy and Be Sweet. Chef Barb, you are incredible. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I shall see you guys very, very soon. If you guys are an OG, you remember that sound. My yum yums. Bye.